So Anthony wants Mike to be a, a, a Fuhrer. I'm sorry. Uh, well, not quite a Fuhrer. I think that's. I think that that the word has bad connotations to it. It's not like you know. I'm just thinking a true leader. This country. What this country needs right now is a true leader. We are in a very bad situation as far as the world goes. Um, we're like the world police, but anything we do gets criticized by that world. And they don't understand how important our being on this planet is to the stability of the planet. We are underappreciated. The euro over there in Europe, they're getting their own economy going and they're saying, screw you. And the euro keeps going up and the dollar goes down. China's hoarding our money. They're uh, using up all kinds of resources. Uh, the, the Russia isn't this um, a friend of ours anymore. They're always poking at us for whatever we try to do. France, don't get me started. Germany, same thing. Like they haven't tried a couple of shenanigans over the past uh, century or so. What about the Irish? The Irish? Irish and England have been pretty cool, but I'm I'm sorry, they're gonna have to suffer also. Really? Yes, because this plan is very, very direct and very uh easy. Here's my plan if I led this country. First of all, I'm sorry. Congress, the Senate, all those people, they gotta go. They can't have any input on what I say. I am, like, making the rules. I can't be bogged down by red tape and meetings and, and hearings and all this other crap that happens because it's just partisan bull that just divvies up the nation and, and wastes time and nothing ever gets done. So uh, I have to be in charge. Just let him go. Let him go. He's on a roll. Go then ahead. Go ahead. what we do. Yeah. All of our military that is spread around the globe making uh, every other little uh, crap country safe? Yeah. Pull them back. Pull them all back. Every single soldier that belongs to the United, United States military gets pulled back to the United States of America. We then get a giant uh, 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 buildup of troops on our carriers, on, on our destroyers, airborne. Marines, everything. And we go to... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here it comes. Venezuela. Venezuela! We attack Venezuela in a decisive, d disgusting display of force. That In a war that ends in a day, we take over Venezuela. No one likes Chavez. There's oil there. Up the yin-yang. Solves our problem can with we make oil. A, can we make a t-shirt? Uh, Venezuela, what? oil up the yin-yang. Oil up the yin-yang. Work on it, brother. Elmer. Look, we, we, <laughs> we, we then we, we take them in as, uh, you know, like we got Puerto Rico and stuff. We, then we own Venezuela. Yeah. Anyone who doesn't agree with it or like it down there, you're going to have trouble. What do we call it? We can still call it Venezuela. I got no problem no, with the you, name. You said you want to call it like the 57th yeah, state like or something. It could be like the 51st state or something. Somewhere around there. Look, yeah. I'll, I'll let the people, I'll give the people like a little bit of freedom uh, to pick a name. They can do it like American Idol style All on right. TV. Whatever they want to do. Right. But it solves our oil problems. Okay? And now we're going to get a lot of flack from the world. Because they're used to the old U.S., the U.S. that backs down to all this kind of stuff. I get up there, and I give a speech, and I tell the whole world, look, this is the new United States of America. This is what we do. We're taking care of numero uno, the United States of America. And if anyone doesn't like it, and if anyone, God forbid, tries any shenanigans with this country, you will see a use of force as you have never seen decisive none of this crap where we sit and go and go uh oh we're sorry about civilian casualties or oh we won't use too many troops or oh we'll only use smart but i'm talking devastation to anybody who even tries to interfere with these plans can you add go screw to your speech go screw yeah that'll like be it. like my slogan right and uh then, then Wait, we have the slogan again 
Go screw! <laughs> nice. Then after we uh, have Venezuela, we leave troops there, obviously, so no shenanigans can start with any of the surrounding nations. Uh, and then we we pull, uh, again, a, a big part of our military back to the U.S. where we guard our borders. No one else allowed. No one allowed in. You can come and visit if you have a valid passport from a nation like England. Those are your perks. And it's the only perks we're going to give you. You like, uh, you're from Australia, you're from England, it's countries we get along with. Then you're allowed to come in a little bit and visit. But you will be monitored and you'll be asked to leave when your time is up. But this will take care of the problem of us not getting the respect we are due around the world. And we will tell the world in 10 years or so, come back crying crying for us to to spread ourselves around the globe again because it will be utter chaos around the globe without this country being policemen to uh, the rest of the world. There will be countries beating the crap out of each other, and we'll sit back. And if people think these nuclear nations, these budding nuclear nations are going to uh, 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 perk up and do something, people will be warned. For every nuke that is attempted to be sent over in our direction, a completely devastating nuclear strike will uh, come against their country, where they will just not exist anymore. They won't exist. So if you want to do that, because we're the big boys on, on, on the block, but no one seems to want to realize that or give us that respect that we are due as a nation that is saving the globe right now. Why do you think other countries aren't running in and invading other countries all the time and, and, and taking resources? The U.S. of A. We become pussies. All right, I got a couple. We need a strong oh. fist. Oh. The fist. I got a couple problems. What? What party are you, you going to get elected on? This is a no party. The parties will be dissolved. There will be no Republican or Democratic Party. It's got to be one guy that <laughs> takes control. <laughs> and that, me. And that I be... have to lead this country. Oh, I will, once once everything is in place, I will give up my power. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Some other leaders said that. <laughs> once everything's established, I will give up my power. Is it true that you want to get rid of the mighty dollar? Uh, well, that suggestion was brought up uh, in exchange for the dollar... The new denomination called the Kumia <laughs> will be introduced to the economy. Uh, that and, way... And what does that solve? That solves the problem of goddamn China owning all our money. Oh, okay. Now, China can whip around all their useless dollars with the old presidents on them, but we'll be printing up the Kumias. The, the $1 Kumia, the, the $5 Kumia, and, and that's the money you spend. And we spend it amongst ourselves. What do we need? We need wood. We need wood. Uh, we go to our forests and we get wood. Uh, Venezuela's got some wood. Uh, we take that as a little perk from our oil thing. We take our wood and then we pay people in cumias to uh, uh, make the uh, lumber. And then our cars, we, we, we get uh, iron. We got all the resources we need here in this country. Why outsource things? The country would be so employed and so prosperous under my rule. Now, uh, can I be on like uh, something? Yes, all my friends will be on my like committees. I will. No, no, no. I want to be on like a like a dollar bill or something. No, I mean they're called kumias, but can I like be the face of? No, one my of face has to be on all of them. You can maybe get the <laughs> back of one somewhere. You like you could get the back of one on like a little picture by one of the buildings by my chancellery, uh, the White House, <laughs> uh, and Jimmy can be there. But but this. This is what we, the times right now are calling for this. Can I be uh, in charge of the national cereal? Sure. <laughs> I'll put you in charge of the national cereal. The national breakfast cereals? Yes. <laughs> it is a great plan and what do you got for Jimmy. For a great hold nation. On, hold on, I was just, that, Yes? Hold on, I was just joking, but if you're going to be like the Fuhrer and the money's going to be the Kumias, yeah. what do you got for little old me? Jimmy will be the head of the Ministry of Comedy. Ooh. Your job will oh. be to... Because let me tell you, no, it's a very important job. Oh. Because the people, when they're ruled under an iron fist of one leader, tend to get a little edgy. They tend to get a little like they want to kill the leader sometimes. Your job will be to find comedians 
that can then go around the country and keep people laughing, keep morale up during this uh, these tough uh, initial times until this plan kicks in and people love it. I'll produce 30 films with Bill Engvall. Do it! <laughs> it's on! You read the review on his sitcom, too, yeah. huh? Oh, boy. Uh, Opie, what about me? Opie, you will be, be nice. Minister of Communication. Ooh, button push. Now, you're not button push. <laughs> Your job will be to... Uh, Does that mean I get to push some, you know, buttons? You're in charge of the state-run radio. To get some real things done? Radio. Ugh. Now all, no, but it's the, I want to be like the official now. button pusher for every button. How about this? What FCC dissolved? Mm, like there that. will be no FCC. You you will be the voice of the nation. Nice. And you could then delegate that responsibility, of course, under you know my approval, to whatever <laughs> whoever course. you want to hire. Of course. <laughs> 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 yes, and uh, the comedians, as minister of comedy, you cannot mock the fur uh, the president, the leader, me. Hey, I you can't mock me. Lot, I can't be made fun of. A lot of people suggest suggesting that I should be on the penny at least. Um, what do you mean, no? E. No, e Rock is saying no. What the hell is he going to be in charge of? Minister of nothing. <laughs> 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 He's there. So that the people, the public, can look and go, my God, it can be so much worse. I could be him. Yeah. You're an example. He'll be the pro-choice face. Right. Hey, we got Syracuse checking in. This is a very, very rare thing. Uh, Steve in Syracuse, what's up? Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Good, Steve. Yeah, I came up with a great idea while I was washing myself in the shower. Yeah. For Diabolical Laugh Tuesday. If Anthony's going to be an evil ruler, he needs a diabolical laugh. It's yeah, we, not evil. We need the official uh, diabolical laugh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Tim, take that and make a, uh, a sweeper, please, immediately. <laughs> there's, there, it's not evil. This is a plan yeah, that needs to, to be put Diabol in place. Diabolical laugh Tuesday. Diabolical sounds diabolical. <laughs> this is a plan that is needed in this day and age. America is divided right now. The world looks at us like we're a bunch of uh, 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 jackasses. We get we don't get the respect for all we do for this planet. I'm raising my hand now. That's the only ah. way we're allowed to talk at this point. Um, how about we start slow? How about we start like uh, our own society, like uh, nope. the Opie and Anthony Society? Or, Can't be. Or how about we build our own city? Because the government... We built this city. The government then sees that as some kind of threat. and to, This has to be done immediately. I don't know how. I think I just got to ask. They could say no, and then I got to go with Plan B. What's Plan B? But I'm just going to ask uh, uh, the president and uh, Congress... If I could just do this. Ooh. I, if I could just, you know, Hold let me on. step in. It's Diabolical Laugh Tuesday. <laughs> the way to start to gain power is you go home to home and you slaughter all families found to be in the possession of plums. <laughs> okay, that could be a good start. I just think... It's time. Someone is suggesting maybe we should just try to get ourselves on the front page of uh, the XM radio website before we attempt to get on money. That's a good idea. <laughs> Words hurt. Maybe Words if, I, hurt. if I offer yeah. the present government yeah. 600 billion kumias. Ooh. Just got to print them up. Nice. Maybe they'll be like, wow. Should now, we, when the government changes over to just me being the leader, should we have we a take Venezuela? Should we have a contest? Like someone's gonna like you know invent the cumia now? Uh, we the design. That? We accept the design of. All the right, cumia? all right, all right. I think uh, some of the message boards. Uh, I know there's a lot of talent over at the whack bag uh, on the uh, Photoshop uh, section. Uh, could you design the cumia? And then we want to print it up and send to the station. Yes. I want a stack of kumias. I, yeah. I have an idea that the kumias should be—it should be a, a horse's ass, and the <laughs> denomination is determined by where the tail is pointing. <laughs> <laughs> I may be insulted, Minister of Comedy. No, no, no. The horse is a beautiful animal. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it feels just like a person, apparently. I. <laughs> <All right. laughs>
All right, we're on to something. I like well, this. That's just you know something. A lot of people with a lot of uh, complaints and questions and stuff. I'm the only one delivering a, a, an answer, a concise answer to the problems of this nation. God, you were doing all the heavy lifting last night. I was reading Jimmy's Happy Endings book. That, see. You're getting real things done. I'm I'm just enjoying a, a nice read. I'm an answer man. Whether you like my idea or not, it's an answer to so all the problems. Right, what every problem do? done. What yeah, will he do. What? Steve. <laughs> well, we all know. <laughs> yes, <laughs> minister, the minister of flaming fashion. <laughs> I'm the no, minister. Of, the minister of diction. <laughs> 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 didn't the communists try this? It didn't work. I'm not talking communism here, my friend. You're talking about an entire society turning inward and solely relying on itself. I'm not asking for everybody to pitch in uh, for uh, uh, just right. work and give me all their money and I'll divvy it up amongst them. The American dream will still live. Capitalism We're within uh, ourselves uh, will live, live on. People that will be rich, there will be poor who might have to be you know, taken care of. Uh, and by that, I don't mean given a bed and uh, a three squares. You mean used for fuel? Uh, apparently, if, well, we have Venezuelan oil, yeah. so perhaps we can labor something. I don't know. But we'll find something for them to do. We're talking more of a utopia. Right. But isn't the American dream predicated on people from outside? If you use the word it predicated was. again. It was. Let me tell you another novel. thing. I'm going to get up with a chisel and reword some of that stuff that the lady in the harbor is holding on that book cover. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to be a welcome sign anymore. Right. I think it works. And, and the people agreeing in droves. This is very encouraging for me. Very encouraging. Anthony, are we allowed to take a break? Because uh... Opie? You are the minister of communications. Ooh. It's your call. <laughs> See, I, 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 I am, I am soft and gentle when I need be. So I still have a little power. Of course you do. You run the entire communications of the United States of America. Official button pusher. Official button for pusher. all. For all. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, you you are the minister of comedy. Could you remind people of this? Help make the people <laughs> laugh. Minister of comedy is now doing it's the, my whole plan's coming together. Right in front of your eyes. I love this. I'm the official button pusher. Jimmy's the minister of oh, uh, comedy. And E Rock's doing nothing. This is going just as planned. <laughs> well, I, as per the generosity of President Kumia, um, he has demanded that all tickets be <laughs> only ten dollars so that all people can come out and enjoy the comedic festivities <laughs> aren't the uh, is the public applauding these these uh things don't we have uh, uh, uh the public why don't we open uh, the windows so the people that are gathered outside can listen to uh jimmy uh g giving his address uh and, and his speech and perhaps listen to the public reaction yes uh, let me uh uh president kumia wants all people to enjoy comedy for ten dollars <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. But he has said this will only happen in Boston, Detroit, Washington, D.C., and PNC in Homedell, New Jersey. Wait! He has said also Philly. And... He has said that Philly will continue until Friday. I am generous. Because, according to him, there are less Jews in Philly. Well, I don't know where that came from. I think you're comparing me to somebody else. <laughs> and he has said that it will all begin this morning at 9 a.m. on Ticketmaster. It's the beginning of my reign. Oh, no. What, 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 Jimmy? What, what, what happened? What, 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 what? For all traveling... <laughs> Don't read that. It, <laughs> brought to you by, by it, brought to you by. Do no, this is sponsored by the liver of President Kumia. <laughs> <laughs> Bud Light, always worth it. Yes, it is. The official <laughs> beverage of my new nation, our our new nation. That's right. I Anthony. slipped a little bit. But uh, he, I'm gonna he, push a button. He has also said. No? He has demanded that that great comedians be on the show like Rich Voss. 
Sorry, Rich Voss is hauling rocks somewhere in the desert. <laughs> I've, I've had to move him, his location. <laughs> God, you're making me sweat. Jimmy Sweeney from Babylon, Long Island. I want to say good morning to Long Island. Good morning, Long we Island. We don't acknowledge you guys uh, as much as we should. Uh, don't have too much fun. You know Minister Tom can come in and extinguish all fun. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Uh, please. What can Tom be the minister of? Minister of braces. How about, yes, all adult men who wear child things. <laughs> <laughs> also, we got Dre from Whackbag. Can Jared be minister of uh, duty? <laughs> no, he will be put down as the mentally handicapped yeah. that are just a burden on society. He'll be shot in the street and vehicles will just run over him. <laughs> thud, 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 thud. <laughs> like running over a possum. Uh, no, I will be all inclusive. Everyone will be included in this nation because we, at this point we would need the diversity to uh, keep our nation growing. Yeah. Without the uh, borders, with the borders being closed, and without the outside influence of the dirty world, the rest of the filthy, uncaring, ungrateful world that it will, in 10 years from the implementation of my plan, be complete anarchy and begging me to help. Please, United States. Please, Anthony. We need your kumias. Can you be um, uh, the person that brings back totally nude... Uh uh, strip clubs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, the decadence thing might turn some people off, but I'll be able to figure out a way to do that through other parties, Yeah, which I will dub as opposition, but I will be supporting them. So and, the people can look at it as at the opposition, uh, and I will have like a scapegoat. I need scapegoats. Will you be uh, digging up any words in the near future? Uh, there could be a few <laughs> resurfacing. <laughs> I don't know. I'll have to. Uh, what is it called? Exhum go to the minister of language Will that I haven't appointed yet. Will you be exhuming the word? <laughs> Some words may have to be exhumed. <laughs> it's always creepy when they have to exhume something. Exhumed. Worst word in the English language. Exhume. It has to smell. Uh, it's just awful. The minister of language. Yeah. Don Imus. Oh. He comes back as the minister of language. I like that. Using uh, f making official words. All right, and uh, Rum Runner from Whack Bag, <laughs> also from Springfield, New Jersey. He writes, El Presidente. Ah, yes. The people think you are playing too much Tropico. Uh, no, I always lose at Tropico. Oh, I'll try great. to rule with an eye. You no, lose at Tropico, but you're going to try this in the, the real world? Because those computer people don't understand. They don't understand. I, I will. The, the people will be happy. Yeah. They will not be, uh, uh, you know, it might be a shock at first, you know, when they can't get uh, rubber dog duty from China. There's going to be a shortage of rubber dog duty. But I plan in Flint, Michigan, to open up rubber dog duty plants to employ the people. Thank you. Thank you. Wait. Hello. Hey, uh... Where the hell am I? Applause. Flint, Michigan is getting all the rubber dog duty plants. That is a good point. I that think is they, a great point. Someone close the window. The, why why, has an, uh, I, 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 uh, why oh, is the window oh. not open? Rubber dog duty plants in Flint, Michigan. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, will they be happy over there? No more poverty in Flint. Yeah. By the way, it's now uh, official. Yes. It's... Uh, Diabolical Laugh Tuesday. Oh. This is a sweeper, so it's got to be official. <laughs> it's got to be. Diabolical Laugh Tuesday. <laughs> On the Opie and Anthony Show. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> That is diabolical. It'll also be retard voice too. Well, <laughs> sure can. Hey, Tim's doing a great job with the official sweepers of the Opie and Anthony show. Making all these themes official. <laughs> oh, man, it's getting crowded.